The origins of tequila can be traced back many centuries. Mexico's Aztecs fermented the juice of the agave plant to produce a low-alcohol drink called pulque. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived, they added distillation to the process for a much stronger drink, and tequila was born. Tequila is to Mexico as corruption is to China. Tequila is only made in this part of the world, near ancient Spanish castles such as this one. For centuries, workers called Grandes Borrachos have harvested the agave plant for tequila. Even today, it's harvested entirely by hand because Mexico has yet to enter the industrial age. Workers chop away the greenery on the agave plant, leaving only the core referred to as El Culo. The blades used in this process are honed to a razor-sharp edge, which comes in handy as the workers haphazardly slam them into the plants like pissed-off orangutans. Agave is a very reflective plant, and serves a dual purpose in telescope making. Here, a worker demonstrates this in the field as he spies for nearby pirate crews that may try to steal the tequila. A local band of cowboys, fresh from their campaign of pirate slaughter, then cut the agave into quarters for cooking. The chopped agave is transferred to a brick oven, where it's cooked for 79 hours, and half of the batch is then sold off to Bridgestone as off-road tires. The baked agave fiber is completely fucking destroyed, and then the leftover refuse is built into a summoning circle to honor an ancient Aztecian curse. In this circle, a giant stone wheel called Tumadre Gorda crushes the agave refuse to extract its nectar. I would tell you what this area is for, but I don't speak Spanish. I mean, this whole script is in Spanish. I've just been making this up as I go along. Oh God, what the hell is happening? Why is he smelling that? I don't, I don't, I don't think that guy even works here. Okay, come on, now you're just teasing me. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume that this room is for distillation, so the alcohol is boiled off so the vapor can be condensed into a more potent liquid. God, I hope that's right. An employee slips some government-mandated anthrax into the batch, the tequila is now ready to drink. So it's over to the bottling line. For a drink with a bit more complexity, the tequila is aged in oak casks and then inspected by a 1970s time traveler. The stress of his job, combined with the fact that he missed seeing his son grow up, takes a very heavy toll. <laughs> 